backline or you go for something I mean like the Niski Gragas. That's a, a that's a classic, yeah. That's a true and tried. I mean they have a lot of a lot of backline damage if they land everything, but in a world where Eretics actually block and uh, yeah, pretty impossible to get through that shield at least in shorter trades. Oh. Oh. That was close. You grab some buffs. Here. Wave in and not cost them too much as X Kick and DOS were coming out from a reset, so DOS just helping out mid lane. Knock up there, oh. knock back, knocks him away from the tower, burn it, tick it, first blood! Just a bit disrespectful from Perks, wasn't expecting the dive in. And uh, he pays for it with his life, a whole bunch of CC, great cost from this key. And the knock up as well. No flashes burned yeah. by anyone. And that's how you know. He that. had all the information <laughs> he needed to know that that kill was coming. Uh, but, you know, just did not respect the execution. Uh, I, you know, no harm, no foul. Lose this flash. We'll see if they can actually punish it. I feel like Niski's going to be able to just clear away the wave for the most Wydra part. goes down. Up. Wonder going to sidestep. Now here comes the Nocturne. And this time, Udyr is out of health. Very easy. Has Ooh, yeah, boss. Could be in trouble. Is has got no mana. Yeah. There is no reason for him to be here. He's just offering up a double kill if he sticks around. Shenis. Ulti is going to connect shield there, extra assist going in for the bottom side of the map, and Team Heretics managed to punish on oh, they're positioning pretty much perfectly because the dive is really easy to execute. Speaking it's of relevant, they have overstayed. That's the package on top side of relevant. We'll just drop here. Kill going to be given over to Parks. Takes his sweet time there. Gatling to even things up, but Wonder in the area means he will not get the opportunity. Drake won't even really be contested. Isma able to take that one down. Trade to for a tower here as relevant is uncontested on the top side. To be the case. They won't even drop the Herald. Just gonna go for a reset. So happy with their victory of the Herald and the Tower. And I anticipate. And now the Seraphine shielding and sustain starts to come into play as Exekick forced to back away. Package to the backside. Exekick still standing. That's gonna be big. Blue Wolf hitting onto two. Is it gonna be enough damage? Exekick continuing to free fire. Yankos leaping in. Should just try to take down the Zen. So many blinking health bars on the side of SK. Oh. Kaiser stepping in. Finding the kill on the Zen. And now Yankos looking to follow up. Wind becomes lightning. Already connecting on Isma. Meanwhile, Team Heretics. the place to use the Gosk. So Team Heretics get a very, very free fight. Diving through the choke. And they'll get this dragon. So there's the Baron. I think once Perks hits two item, that's when we'll try and see a bit of pressure. Ooh, Cast doesn't find the direction. Does find the targets though. A little bit unlucky on this key's part. Relevant will break down. Bot side towers. Perks is able to push in the waves top side. Big credit to team 82 CS. 1.2k gold lead over the Recon. Almost two items completed. But there. Is the ulti knockup coming through, but immediately no fall off. The play has already gone bad. There's an Udyr in the midst of the entire SK lineup. Finally, the equalizer goes down, but there's no fall off. There's no room to respond. Team Heretics slaughtering them. The Abelia Assault does nothing in the face of the Zin. All oh, knock back under the tower. Maybe they can get one back in return. Actually, kick terrible guns for the fall off, and Team Heretics. This will be a Baron for Team Heretics. Yeah, it's coming into this week. SK, of course, uncontested it in first place, but Team Heretics looking to tie it up. Confidence on the double support item strategy. Perks, aggressive on the run. To do. Yeah, Isma walking up to fear, but it's just gonna have to back off. Perks off to the side. Can go unstoppable, X kick forced to flash away. Maybe they can try to turn this one back. Perks has been caught out. Big shutdown, gonna slow down the Baron. Team Heretics forced to back away for a brief moment, but they can just set their sights on the Infernal. I still don't know if, if SK can win this. A bit tricky. I mean, Hux is practically all of their damage, so... Heretics, they can just be a little bit patient here. Hold off SK. Or they can go in. Knock up, not gonna come through. Wonder just gonna wander forward here. Try to lock up Niski. Wind becomes lightning. Niski makes it over the wall. Follow-up is there, however. Charmed now by the Seraphine Ultimate. Another member down. Doss just gonna lay down a little bit of vision. Pull the Drake a bit. Isma clearing midway, but this should just be another Drake for the side of Team Heretics. Two Infernals to the good of Team Heretics. Feels pretty good when you consider. That is kind of be a pretty cost-effective buy in terms of what it could get you. It's just a 25, 2600 gold, pretty expensive at this point. Isma caught out and uh, is just gonna die here. Jamon, I think this game is over. I think that yeah. SK are dead men walking. This is oh, an I, impossible comp to break is. Udyr's just agree. gonna wander forward. Perk's now following up. Just doesn't feel like SK have an answer. It felt like 
they had to try and find those engages 10 minutes ago. They weren't able to, and now it's just and dead. getting run over across Isn't the map. It? There's no dragon on the map, but in the meantime, Team Heretics are just going to break down some of these towers. I feel like so much of this game is just in Team Heretics' hands. Back back there, Axe Kick already dead. Perks off to the side, untouched. Doss knocked down. Wonder just going to walk forward and tank this tower. Look at those shields, folks. What can you do? I feel like the answer is just nothing. Damn. I feel like they won the split already. They got so many shields. <laughs> Team Heretics. They're an unstoppable death ball. Captain by a... It's not feeling pretty good. Doss. Giga Doomed. Even. Also searching for a flank, I think. And credit to Doss, this is kind of what you have to do. You have to look for these avenues, you have to look for these angles, but at this point, he is a land of the Ooh, slaughter. That God. slow is a massive. All right, going on a walkabout. Can get infernal sp move speed. Okay. He's on a journey. He's playing his own mini game. It's like Pac-Man, but he will just, yeah, okay. He's gonna die in the end. It's exactly like Pac-Man. But instead, he's gonna make it out until he sees Udyr come around the corner. Oop, Udyr found him. He was shopping. He had no cooldowns. He will drop. Wonder is now known. You have to understand, the League of Legends player base are wizards. No matter what the design team does, they will ruin oh. the game. They will find a way. Well, Doss has no help or flash. Wonder oh, now oh. backing off. Exekick is dead already. Equalizer does nothing. Yanko's following up. Wind becomes lightning. My favorite ability to say today is a double kill goes through for Team Heretics. And yeah, get excited. They've already won. They're taking their time with it. They can get barren. They still have to be disciplined. They can't overstep. They can't make mistakes. But after last week's performance, they want to clean it up, you know? Yeah. Tie up SK. Three and one. Yeah. yeah, but this is the thing. I don't think the balance team appreciates. There is no one more desperate to find a way to break the game than a hard stuck player looking to look at anything other than his own performance is the reason. That's true. It's for a while. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's that about sums it up. Here comes Wonder. Not gonna find anything else. It's 10k gold lead. It is three dragons. It is 13 to three. Perks dealt 4k damage leaping out of the fight. All right, SK. What do you have for us at your 10k gold deficit? Because we know what heretics can do. Or is it just going to be... It's not a slow bleed. It's a very quick one. Isma tries to strike fear into their hearts. They are not afraid. At all. Oh. They're doing tons of damage. SK getting slaughtered in their own base. Cannon creep not stepping forward, though. Have they potentially overstepped? The answer is no. They are actually unkillable. Are you kidding me? There are two towers standing. Team Heretics don't care. Team Heretics coming in, tying up SK three and one. They will join SK at the top of the table. And Team Heretics are our first team to death.